Jeff Lightman talking right now with the South Central Calhoun Boys 4x100 relay team as they took third down here at the state tournament and uh, broke their own school record, which they set in the prelims a couple of days ago. Let's talk right now with uh, Cody Case, who led things off. Cody, how'd you feel coming out of the blocks today? Felt good. Tried to eat up West Burlington and Regina right away. Didn't get all the way past them, but ate them up a little bit. Do you, you seem to get strong out of the blocks in the 100 and 200. Are you the same kind of in the 4x1? Yep, we try to do that. Just get out of the box as well as you can and try to build up that momentum for the next leg. How much do you guys now work on blocks? Girl, Pretty four much four every practice. We go hard on them every pre-meet, post-meet. Now, you guys broke your school record in the prelims. Was it a thought about breaking it today again? I didn't really think of it. I just wanted to get top three, and we did that. So it was all good. <laughs> you had run the 100 and 200 earlier today. Did you feel like you were refreshed and ready to go for this? Oh, yeah. A final, you know, even if you run 400, I think everyone's going to be fresh for a final. What did you do to kind of get yourself mentally and, and even physically ready for this? Just gotten some shade right away and drank some Gatorade and did my stretches again. All right. Well, I tell you what, congratulations. Great job today. Thank you. Let's move on now to the guy that ran the second leg here, Derek Kinkinius. Derek, how was your handoff? Um, Cody and I have been working a lot on handoffs. Uh, early in the year, he started, he ran up on me a lot of times, so we, we've been extending that uh, – zone that I start to to uh, about 24 steps now and it seems to pay off as Cody and I we've it's uh, been much better since the start of the season you rock back and forth after the gun goes over is that a timing thing for you or is that something you've always done it's just something I've always done just to get my like momentum going as soon as Cody gets close to my mark I sway back and then take off with my momentum Back stretch uh, was where you were running today. Did you feel strong the whole way, and, and where did you feel like you got up to your top speed? Um, I felt like I was at top speed right away as soon as I got the baton. I was able to get my sights on West Burlington in uh, lane four and just try to keep up with them and get the stick to Kyle. One of the seniors out of this group, the other two coming up here, but uh, what's it like running with this group of guys? Uh, we put a lot of work in. These two over here have put even more work in going from – uh, golf and uh, track combine those two, but when we got all together and put the work in, uh, it's good to uh, see these results that we've got this weekend. Talk about memories for you down here at State Track. It's been something you've been at several times. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice to be here for myself. I've had both my uh, older sisters have been down here. It's fun to watch them and, and all their successes, so Coming down here and having my own successes with my my team was uh, something that you know you, like you kind of dream of. So it was a dream come true for me. Well, Derek, I appreciate everything. It's been a lot of fun. Looking forward to the baseball season. Thank you, Derek and Kenny. Is again. Let's talk now with uh, Kyle King, who ran the third leg today. Kyle, how did you feel running on that curve? Um, I knew West Burlington had the fastest kid in the state. It was third leg as well. So I try to maintain a gap and uh, get as quick, get the baton to Connor as quick as possible. Able to do that? Um, for the most part, yes. But um, when Isaiah Trousdale's already broke three records this year, it was kind of tough. <laughs> Did you feel like you ran one of your best splits of the year, though? Uh, I think so. I think our handoffs were have been much improved this year and especially this weekend, which allowed us to break uh, some school records. In the 4 by one it doesn't take long after the gun goes off for the two guys to all of a sudden get to you. How do you mentally prepare yourself once that gun goes off for your, your leg of the race? I just like to make sure I'm completely stretched out and uh, only focus on Derek and our team uh, so I don't have any outside attentions that's uh, taking me away from my block start or my start. What are you going to take away from state track this year? Um, it's been a great experience. It's really been fun for all the guys at the hotel, at the, uh, at the stadium. It's really been a great time and I'll have a lot of memories. Okay, tell you what, Kyle, I appreciate it. Fun to watch you golfing and running track this year. Thank you. Let's move over now to Connor Ludwig around the anchor leg today. He had the straightaway. Uh, it, 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 was, it was a good group running with you. How'd you feel? I felt pretty good. I knew West Burlington got out ahead of me, so I was just trying to maintain a gap between them, and I didn't quite know where Regina was, but I thought we got them towards the end, but they barely beat us. So. How tough is that, knowing you got another team right there with you? I thought you got them, too. So yeah. was it disappointing when you saw you didn't, or were you just going, hey, we just took third in state and yeah. broke the school record? I mean, it's a little disappointing because we were going for second because we knew we could get Regina, but and then we got third place, though, so that still feels good to get third because uh, 
we just got a new team together this year because me and Kyle have been out for golf, and it feels good to get us together and get down here to stay. What made you think about going out and doing both sports this year? Uh, everyone always talks to me that I'm fast and told me to go out for track and that I should have been doing it the years before, so I finally went out to see how it worked and then ended up working out. Do you wish now that you would have went out yeah. three or years? Yeah, I could have ran with my brother anchor. last year. So. Side by side what do you tell some younger kids maybe that, that are on that line of should I, shouldn't I? I'd say go out and do whatever feels right. Don't let other people tell you what to do. Just do what you want to do and have fun with it. So your first year down here running, what what memory are you going to take away from this? Just running with all the guys. It's been a great experience. They're a great group of guys, and I just love running with them this year. Well, Connor, I appreciate it. Enjoyed watching you golf and run track this year, so thanks very much. Yeah.